Yes, Justice Emeritus uh, David Maraga and uh, the task force, thank you for making this presentation of um, the interim report of the task force on uh, police reforms and uh, terms of service and salaries of uh, our security sector, namely the police, the National Police Service, the National Prison Service, and the National Youth Service. To commend you for a very in-depth uh, interrogation of the issues that uh, you've taken into account in coming up with the report. To confirm that uh, we have made suggestions on uh, what we think would improve and uh, make the report even better. But the report is finally what your task force will bring to us. I just want to give you uh, our commitment that we committed to our security sector that we are going to work with them because of the responsibilities, heavy responsibilities that they have in securing the country, that the country must equally recognize the sacrifices and the um, heavy responsibilities that they carry out on all our behalf so that the rest of us can sleep in peace, work in uh, a secure environment, and be able to go about our businesses in the manner in which that we want. Um, taking into account what the report uh, recommends, we will wait for the final uh, report. And we have agreed that, uh, Honorable Chairman, that the report should be presented latest in the next one month. And I will be sitting here waiting for that report in the next one month because our policemen and women, the people in our Kenya prisons and our National Youth Service have been waiting. We know it was a huge responsibility. You have gone across the country. You've interrogated many people. You have listened to many presentations. You have also um, had uh, very, um, various fora where you have listened to other members of the public. And that is as it should be, because we believe in public participation so that every action that we carry out, every policy that we um, discharge has been informed by the widest possible public uh, contribution of their ideas and suggestions. So one month. Meanwhile, uh, having looked at uh, the interim uh, presentations that you have made and the interim recommendations that you have made, I think straight away, we agree that number one, we will now move the police, the prisons, and the NYS to the security sector to ensure that their remunerations and their terms of service are commensurate with the security sector. It is unfortunate <laughs> that they haven't been treated that way all this while, and I think they deserve, in fact, the, the Constitution itself recognizes that they belong to the security sector. Number two, we have also agreed to the recommendation that uh, there will be two entry points, one at the constable level and another one at the cadet level, so that we attract more professionals into the service and ensure that more people with uh, uh, requisite professional expertise can join the police. We now need more people in the uh, sectors of uh, cyber technology, many people who understand because crime is evolving and it is necessary for us to pick expertise that would help us manage new crime that is evolving in, not just in Kenya, but also uh, globally. And number three, that uh, we agree with the recommendation of the enforcement 
of making sure that no officer serves in one station for more than three years. And that after three years, except for some formed up units, maybe the SOGs and all the others that are anyway continuously moving, the other officers must uh, respect and the IG and his team must now work to make sure that uh, all officers that have served more than three years need to move to the next station. And going into the future, uh, it will not be possible for anybody to be promoted if they have served only in one station. Part of the uh, requirement for promotion must be that you have served in different stations in the country so that we have a wholesome view of uh, the country and also that uh, uh, no officer becomes accustomed to situations around any part of the country. So uh, I think this is what I can say on an interim basis. Uh, the minister here will oversee the policy uh, directions that uh, we have agreed on. There are at least the three policy directions that we have agreed on, working, of course, with the, uh, with the IG and the chair of the National Police Service Commission to make sure that this moves forward. I want to ask our friends, the policemen and women of Kenya, the prison officers of Kenya, the members of the National Youth Service of Kenya, that um, I will make sure that we discharge our commitment to them in the next one month, we will receive the final report. It is important that we begin even as we look at uh, the next one month, that whatever we have agreed on gets into implementation um, going into the future. And also that because we are digitizing government services across government, that all aspects of the police including their salaries, their occurrence books, and all the other infrastructure around the police must now be digitized and accelerate the process of digitization <laughs> so that it becomes a lot easier for Kenyans to interact with the police, to get service from our police, and to make sure that we deal with all manner of crime, both physical, online, and in all other spaces.